the disease areas that we're focused on right now at Genzyme is Huntington's disease. This has been a disease of long-standing interest at Genzyme. Many, many years ago, we were part of the group that helped to map the disease gene, and then we developed one of the first diagnostic tests. Certain parts of the brain are affected so that over time, the ability to control movement decreases. We have a failure to thrive, a lack of nutrition, lack of cognition. Huntington's disease is ultimately a fatal disease which has no therapy. The patients get affected in the middle of uh, their life. That's uh, the disease uh, onset, onset of symptoms. And this is a genetic disease, so now your children has a 50-50 chance of having the disease too. I really like the fact that the work that I do on a daily basis is directly related to human health. Huntington's disease is caused by a single gene mutation, so that means there's this CAG repeat within the Huntington's gene that's simply expanded in these patients. In the absence of this gene mutation, the patients would actually be fine. In Huntington's disease, it's a toxic gain of function, meaning that the protein takes on a whole new function that's completely different than the normal function of Huntington. So the toxic protein causes a number of downstream very negative effects and eventually leads to the death of the neuron. is the perfect candidate for gene therapy where you can design your gene therapy to knock down the causative gene and hopefully potentially lead to halting of the disease progression and modifying of some of the symptoms which already the patients are having. Really, we're capitalizing on a natural biological process called RNA interference. So all cells have the capacity to undergo RNA interference or RNAi, in which small double-stranded RNA molecules can silence their target genes. So by adding to the cells this double-stranded RNA molecule, we can actually shut off or silence the mutant gene. And we're delivering it using viruses. Viruses um, are very powerful and they can deliver cargo to cells. Obviously, viruses can be harmful and they, they cause human disease, but the viruses that we're using have been engineered to do this particular task without causing any kind of side effects. I met Lisa first in the written page because she had published with another team this uh, approach of knocking down Huntington. That was stage one of me being impressed with the type of work that her and her team at Sanofi Genzyme performs. Subsequent to that, we met in person and it was clear at that point that we had additional commonalities, which is that we are both patient advocates. Well, CHDI is a very unique organization. Um, their mission is to accelerate therapeutic for the patient population. I have been to several meetings that consist of only patients and their families. They're more like support groups than scientific conferences. Having lunch with the patients, going to dinner with their families, talking about their day-to-day -day struggles, um, it can be very illuminating in terms of how we plan on treating them and, and what we actually want to treat in terms of the disease and their symptoms. We have enough experience now with delivery of gene therapy to the central nervous system that we can get the vector where we want it to go and get enough expression to have a clinical benefit. So we have a great deal of hope there. I definitely think that we have reason to be hopeful because I really believe in the strategy and I also believe in the team. So I call it the Huntington's dream team because I feel like we really do have the smartest people working on their different parts of the project and at the end of the day when we all sit at a table together and, and combine all the elements, I think we're going to have a drug to treat patients with.